Hello lovers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sujongwa. I am here again with a new recipe, okay, on how to cook beans and spaghetti. And for those of you that don't know about it, okay, if today is your first time of coming across this channel, please don't forget to subscribe after watching, okay, and give this video a thumbs up if you find it interesting. Share with your friends as well and leave your comment below. So as you can see, I have already have my water in the heat, okay, so I have to break uh, my the spaghetti okay i have to cut the spaghetti and break it anyone you understand breaking or cutting is the same okay just to cut or break so as you can see i have done that already i did it off camera i have break down the uh, spaghetti so my water is already boiling all i have to do is to add up the spaghetti So once you add your spaghetti, please use use your spoon to turn it, okay? So it will not stick together. Then you have to add granola oil on this, okay? That is another secret. If you don't want your spaghetti or your rice to stick together because of the starch, all you have to do is to add a little bit of granola oil to it. It will help it to scatter. It will help it not to gum. It will help it to stay one one, okay? the way it's supposed to be not to gum or to stick together because of the starch but don't forget that you you are not cooking it you just we are just boiling the spaghetti and we'll soon remove the water we'll soon remove it from the heat okay and wash it again so as you guys can see all we have to do now is to cover it and parboil it just for 10 minutes then I'm, the water for my beans is already boiling so I have added the beans as you guys can see. So you have to parboil these beans for 10 minutes or 15 minutes in order to bring out the chemical they use in prevent, in prevent preserving the beans. Okay, you don't need to eat the chemical, please. It's not good for our health. As you can see, I'll show you guys the color of the water from the beans. Now I have my salt, pepper, mango, and curry. That is the ingredients you need on this. I have onions, ginger, and garlic. That is all. Then I have crayfish. I have beef meat as well. So this is the crayfish. I'll be making use of uh, fresh tomatoes without tin on this. Only fresh tomatoes is all I need. Okay, so this, what you're seeing now is crayfish. So this is the tin tomatoes I'll be using. Please don't forget to subscribe, okay, after watch and hit your notification bell so you'll become one family on this. Help me to build this channel, okay. Please share with your friends, okay. You can share it on your in your on your facebook you can share it on your tiktok your instagram please invite your friends to subscribe for me okay so we'll become one family so i have washed the spaghetti as you guys can see it's good to go so the next thing we have to do now is to squeeze out the water from the beans as you can see the water is black that is the chemical you don't need it so i have done that off camera and i have raised the beans here is it as you can see it's already washed so the next thing we have to do now is to put our water in the heat which i have did off camera so all i have to do now is to add a little salt on it inside the water that is what i did as you guys see so the next thing i have to do now is to introduce my beans so that is it as well you have to cook these beans until it is done okay you are not parboiling it now you are not cooking it half done you have to cook these beans until it's born okay until it's, it's, it's done okay sorry until it's done not born until it's done so here is the beef i'll be using for this please this beef uh, this meat i'm adding to it is optional it's not must okay it's not must you can cook it without anything without any protein at all without any meat but I'm, i feel like to use beef okay you can use any protein of your choice i have added mangi now on this now what i'm introducing is thyme i'm introducing thyme so after thyme what well, the next i have to introduce now is my rosemary i am adding up my rosemary you will see it now so let me get it so this is it this rosemary that is what i just introduced now so after the rosemary i have to pick up the next ingredients which is black pepper 
you can use cameroon pepper you can use uh, any pepper of your choice but here i'm making use of black pepper and white pepper so the next thing i have to add now introduce now is my white pepper so this is it this is my white pepper this one is optional it's not must you can use one pepper if you want but in this food i use three pepper <laughs> i used to use black pepper white pepper and um, nigerian pepper the grounded pepper that is dried pepper so what i just introduced now is correct powder so next thing is salt so the next thing i have to introduce now is my my grounded uh, my onions okay my chopped onions that is what i just added so the next thing is ginger and garlic no, I can't cook without ginger and garlic because I know the benefits and the taste as well. So all we have to do now is to cover this meat and cook it until it's done. Okay, it's beef. It doesn't take time like that. 15 to 20 minutes is okay. So that's that. Remember, I not add water. I'm cooking it with the water that come out from the meat. That is all. So now the next thing we have to do is to cover it, then move into our uh, tomatoes in order to prepare our tomato sauce so i have added granite oil what i just introduced now is onions the next thing i have to introduce now is my ginger and garlic after turning this okay so i will allow you guys to see what i'm doing I'm not using all of these tomatoes, okay? Remember, I'm just cooking one packet of spaghetti and beans, so I don't need to use too much stew on this, too much sauce. So I just use half of it. I just introduce my salt now. So you have to fry this until it is dry, okay? So I will do I will do that and get back to you guys, as you can see. So now our meat is ready. It's already done. All we have to do now is to cover it and turn off our heat. Because there is nothing we are cooking again in this meat. The meat are, they go okay. <laughs> they go sharp. So now the next thing is our tomatoes as you guys can see. This is after 10 minutes. It's already dry. So we have to take it off the heat. Okay. So we are almost done. So here is the beans. It's already done as well. Our beans is already done. So all we have to do is to introduce our spaghetti. Oh my god. My dear, you need to taste this recipe. You need to cook this delicious food. Just try it. Try this food. You will thank me later. Try this food. You will always run to cook it every day. That will be your everyday favorite food. <laughs> Honestly. Because this food is very very delicious. Okay. I just feel like to share the secret just feel like to share the recipe with you guys okay just don't forget to subscribe after watching and give this video a thumbs up and share and like as well okay build this channel with me okay so we'll become one family and I have other videos as well you can check for them so here I'm introducing my mangi now Remember, this don't need too much ingredients, okay? You don't need too much ingredients on this. I just added salt, pepper, and curry. Now I'm adding water. Please, when adding water in this, you need to add small water because remember, your beans is already done, okay? And your spaghetti is uh, spaghetti don't used to take much time to done, okay? To get done, so you have to add small water, okay? In in order not to burn your food. On the process of you waiting for the water to dry up because once the spaghetti is soft soft too much it will not be able to soak the the water likewise beans because the beans is already done as you can see okay so you add uh, your meat now 
if you are using mate if you are not using mate you don't need to add mate if you are not using mate all you have to do now is to add up your crayfish don't add crayfish early okay if you add your crayfish in the beginning it will get burnt please don't do that crayfish should be the last thing that will enter so if you are not using meat all you have to do now is to add your crayfish but because i'm using meat you add meat first before your crayfish then you cover this for two seconds or two minutes if i'm to say just two minutes then you turn it and turn off your heat the food is ready nothing more oh my god if you have watched up to this stage all this up to this level please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up okay comment and leave uh, and like this video okay subscribe as well so we'll become one family okay if you have eat this kind of delicious food before please don't forget to drop your comment as well for others to know that the food is real is delicious okay and if you try it please drop your comment as well i love you guys i will see you all in my next video all you have to do now is to turn off your heat okay bye take care of yourself see you all in my next video don't forget to subscribe and support me in this channel thanks for watching as well bye